for another opportunity he has given to us to be here. It's indeed a great privilege to be in the presence of the Most High God. Each time we come before God, we thank him. Let us give honor to whom honor is due, that is our God, for the miracle of sleeping and waking up. Father, we thank you. Father, we adore you. Father, we glorify your name. We thank you for your visitation this morning, Lord. You have touched us and you have woken us up in our right minds. Father, we have come into your house to worship you this morning because you said we should not forsake the assembling of one another. Every blessing of obedience will be ours today in the name of Jesus. Almighty God, we thank you, O Lord. All our brethren that are supposed to be here today, Jehovah, bring them, Holy Spirit, bring them to worship you today, O Lord. Today is Sunday, a day set aside to worship you together. Thank you, mighty Father. All our brethren that are to join on Zoom, mighty Father, bring them also. Thank you, mighty Jehovah. In Jesus' name, we pray. Amen. Praise God, hallelujah. Praise God, amen. Praise God, hallelujah. Praise God, amen, amen. Praise God, hallelujah. Praise God, amen. Praise God, hallelujah. Praise God, amen. Praise Jesus, hallelujah. Praise God, amen. Praise God, hallelujah. Praise God, amen, amen. Praise God, hallelujah. Praise God, amen. Praise God, hallelujah. Praise God, amen. Praise God, praise God, hallelujah. Praise God, amen. Praise God, hallelujah. Praise God, amen. Praise Him, praise God, hallelujah. Praise Jesus, amen. Praise God, hallelujah. Praise God, amen. That is the whole duty of man. The book of Revelation, chapter 4, 11. So we are created to bring pleasure to the most high God. We are created to worship him, to praise him. So each time you praise him, you are doing yourself a favor. You are doing your duty, worshiping and praising the almighty God. Father, we thank you for another day. We thank you, we thank you, we thank you. We can never thank you enough. Thank you for making us who we are. Thank you, O Lord, for drawing us unto yourself. But our Lord Jesus Christ made it known to us that nobody came to him except those that are drawn to him by our God himself. God has given us unto our God, unto Jesus Christ. That is why we are here. It is not by our power, it is not by our might, but because of the love he has for us. I am fearfully made. I am wonderfully made. I belong to God, I resemble him. I am fearfully made, I am wonderfully made. I belong to God, I resemble him. That is why the devil trembles whenever he, he has me singing. I am God's own and the apple of his eyes. That is why the devil trembles whenever he hears me singing. I am God's own and the apple of his eyes. Praise the Lord. 
In continuation of our worship, let us open our Bibles to the book of Psalm 146. And we'll continue to worship our God because that is the whole essence of man, to worship and to bring honor unto our God. And I will read from here. Okay, Psalm 146 says, Praise the Lord, praise the Lord, O my soul. While I live, will I praise the Lord. I will sing praises unto my God while I have my being. But not, put not your trust in princes, nor in the son of man, in whom there is no help. His breath goeth forth, he returneth to his earth. In that very day, his thoughts perish. Happy is he that had the God of Jacob for his help, whose hope is in the Lord his God. I don't know where our hope is, but that is where our, our hope is in the Lord. That is where we are. He said, happy is that man, happy is he that had the God of Jacob for his help, whose hope is in the Lord his God, which made heaven and earth, the sea, and all that therein is, which kept truth forever, which executed judgment for the oppressed, which gave food to the hungry. The Lord loseth the prisoners. The Lord opened the eyes of the blind. The Lord redeemed them that are bowed down. The Lord loved the righteous. The Lord preserved the strangers. He relieveth the fatherless and widows, but the way of the wicked he turneth upside down. The Lord shall reign forever. The Lord shall reign forever, even thy God, O Zion, unto all generations. Praise the Lord. Let us open our mouth again. Let us look at that verse 5. Happy is he that had the God of Jacob for his help, whose hope is in the Lord his God. Let us open our mouth and say, Father, I don't have any other but you, O Lord. You are all my God. You are all I look unto. You are all I depend upon, O Lord. My hope, O Lord God Almighty, is only in you. Great and mighty Jehovah, I worship you, O Lord. I glorify your name, O Lord God Almighty. I give you praise. I give you honor. I give you adoration, O Lord. Because, O Lord, you are my hope. You are my righteousness. You are all I look unto and all I depend upon. Thank you, mighty Father. Thank you, great and mighty Jehovah, because my hope is only in you. Thank you, Lord. The Bible tells us also in verse 8, The Lord opened the eyes of the blind. The Lord raised them that are bowed down. The Lord loved the righteous. Say, Father, thank you, O Lord, for bringing me unto yourself, O Lord. Thank you, great and mighty Jehovah, O Lord, for calling me your child. Who is a righteous man? A righteous person is that person that is in right standard with the Almighty. Are you in right standard with God today? Are you in right standard? Are you doing things according to the way God wants it to be done? Father, thank you, O Lord. Thank you for calling me onto your home this morning, into your house. I am not carried. If you look at that parable, and that miracle that our Lord Jesus Christ did, how they carried a man, four friends carried him, and Jesus healed him. But this morning, you woke up, the Almighty God woke you up. With your legs, you have walked into the house of God to worship him this morning. Father, I thank you, O Lord. I thank you, O Lord, for giving me the opportunity, O Lord, of seeing the light of another day. It is not my right, O Lord, it's just a privilege. And I thank you, great and mighty Father. I thank and adore and glorify your name. My hope is in you, mighty Father. I only have hope in you. I have no other but you. I have no other but you, mighty Jehovah. Thank you, awesome Father. Thank you, King of glory. In Jesus' mighty name we have prayed. Amen. Let us commit today's service in God's hand. Take, tell God to take preeminence. In all the activities of the day, everything we shall be doing today, let God Almighty take preeminence. Let our Lord God take control. The Bible tells us that our Lord reigneth. Yes, our God is in charge. No matter what we're going through, no matter the challenges of life, 
The Bible tells us, our God reigneth. Our God reigneth. There is no other one that reigns but him. He is the almighty, the God of all gods, the Lord of all lords, the only true God, the one that has called us unto himself. Father, you reign. As you reign in the heavens and reign on earth, Father, reign in my life, reign in our families, reign, O Lord, even in the church of God. We are committing every activity, all the things we'll be doing today in God's house. Father, only you will take all the glory. Take all the glory today, O Lord. Take all the glory, mighty Jehovah. Take all the glory, great and mighty Father. And all the blessings of today shall not pass us by. All the activities that have been lined down, O Lord, that have been lined up, O Lord, for today, O Lord. Great and mighty Jehovah. Your name will be glorified in it. And your blessings, O Lord, will be on us. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Amen. Amen. Let us commit the such the scriptures this morning unto our God. The uh, teacher that will be teaching us such the scriptures, let us commit him unto the Almighty God. And say, Father, that unction to teach, Father, give to him this morning or her. Father, who you are teacher for today, O Lord, for the such the scriptures, let there be a special anointing. Anointing of teaching, O oh, great and mighty Father. Anointing to teach and teach rightly. As the teacher opens his or her mouth to teach today, O oh, Father, put that word, all those things you want us to learn, mighty and everlasting Father. We shall not learn heresy, we shall learn of you in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Everything great and mighty Jehovah that you want us to learn today, O oh, Lord, inside the scriptures, Give our teacher the unction to teach and teach rightly in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. And the topic today, Father, is teaching us reconciliation. Teaching us also, Lord God Almighty, to restitute mighty and everlasting Father. All that we ought to learn today, O oh Lord, in today's side of the scriptures. Father, as we always say, we don't want to be familiar with the word of God and say, oh, I know that one. Father, the Bible tells us that the word of God is new every morning. Mighty and everlasting, Father. As we open the scriptures, O oh Lord, to read this morning, O oh Lord God Almighty. As we study the side of the scriptures, mighty Father, let new things be deposited in our hearts, in our reign, O oh Lord God Almighty. Let us learn all those lessons, O oh Lord, all those lessons of life that will help us to live here on earth, mighty Father, give to us your children in the name of Jesus Christ. We shall learn something new. We shall learn something new on how to restitute in the name of Jesus and how to forgive. Oh, Father, we thank you. And how to pray. Father, we are learning a lot this morning, oh Lord. You will teach us new things, oh Lord God Almighty. How Jacob tarried in prayers and looked unto you, oh Lord. Oh, Father, great and mighty Jehovah. And you answered him, O oh Lord God Almighty. And you protected him on the way. Even as you protect him with the, with the angels, Father, you protect each and every one of us, O oh Lord, as we go in the course of this life. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. The Almighty God said, and he encountered you in prayers and held on. He did a vigil, and you, are, you showed up for him. Oh, great and mighty Father, you will show up for us, O oh Lord, as we tarry in the place of prayers. As we tarry in the place of prayers, O oh Lord, as we call on you, great and mighty Father, you showed up for him, O oh Lord God Almighty, and you changed his name and gave him a new name. Mighty Father, is there any name, O oh Lord, in any of us, O oh Lord, that is setting us back, a name that we ought not to be bearing, O oh Lord God Almighty, is there any condition that we are, eh, eh, do you know where we are in that we are not supposed to be in? Mighty and everlasting Father, as you showed up, oh Lord God Almighty, for Jacob and changed his name. Father, change those conditions in our lives in the name of Jesus Christ. Change those conditions. Give us a new name, oh Lord, a name that will move us forward in the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Change our lives. Thank you, mighty Father. Thank you, King of glory. Oh, Lord God Almighty. We saw also, oh, Lord God Almighty, how you stuffed in the heart of Esau, even after he tarried, after Jacob tarried in prayers. And when Jacob came with 400 men, the Bible says he came and cried on the neck of his brother. That means he forgot. His heart was melted. Father, Father, help us to pray. That is the only way, communicating with you. Let us not be tired of praying. Let us not be tired of praying because that is, that you, that is a, a great weapon that you have given to us, O oh Lord. 
for with which we can commune with you. Father, make us a praying church in the name of Jesus. And each and every one of us, oh Lord, let us be able to stand in the place of prayer and pray for ourselves and pray for one another. Thank you, great and mighty Father. Thank you for showing new things in our lives and give us, giving us new ideas. Thank you, great and mighty Father. Almighty Father, we worship and glorify your name. In Jesus' mighty name we have prayed. Amen. Let us also commit the choir into God's hand this morning and say, Father, put a new song in their mouth, O Lord. A song of praise, a song of adoration. And Lord God Almighty, as we sing together with the choir, O Lord, that our congregational hymn, Father Almighty, O Lord, we shall see your glory in the name of Jesus Christ. As the song comes down this morning, O Lord, great and mighty Jehovah, O Father, O Lord God Almighty, it shall rise as a sweet smelling salvo unto you. And seek even the people that are sick, O Lord God Almighty, Jehovah, as the word of God, as the song of the Almighty comes this morning, the song from the choir, there shall be healing in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Because Lord God Almighty inhabits, O Lord, the praises of his children. Mighty Father, you will enjoy those praises this morning, O Lord. And you will reign on us, O Lord, your blessings in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, awesome Father, for we have prayed in Jesus' name. Amen. We ought to also pray as the word of God is coming forth this morning. That word, O Lord God Almighty. The Bible said it's powerful and it's living. That living word, mighty Father, it shall come alive this morning, O Lord, and touch the life of each and every one of each of the hearers this morning, O Lord. Great and mighty Father. Father, your word will come forth, O Lord. That word that is weak and powerful. That word that can penetrate, O Lord. The Bible said it gets into the marrows. It gets into the heart. And it's a word that heals. Great and mighty Father. Great and mighty Jehovah. The Bible says that when you send your word, your word even goes to the sick and heal them. And deliver them from all their troubles. Mighty Father. Great and mighty Jehovah. As that word is coming forth this morning. It's coming strong and powerful, O Lord. And it's permitting into our soul, O oh Lord God Almighty. Our hearts, O oh Lord, shall be fetter to receive the word of God this morning. And Lord God, we are lifting your son you are using this morning, O oh Lord, to preach your word. And say, Father in heaven, O oh Lord, that auction, O oh Lord, auction to function for you. Give to him, O oh Lord. As he Praise, O Lord God Almighty. And as he speak the word, O Lord, as he send forth that word of God this morning, Jehovah, back him up, O Lord God Almighty. Let that word come forth, O Lord God Almighty, into all of us that will be hearers of that word today in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Cause us to hear your word, O Lord. Father, is there anyone still with a hardened heart? Mighty Father, the book of Jeremiah says that that word will break asunder, will break in pieces every heart of iron, every heart of stone. He will turn it to a heart of flesh. Mighty and everlasting Father. We, and we shall not be forgetful hearers. As we hear the word of God, mighty Father, we will use it, O oh Lord God Almighty. As we speak that word in our lives, O oh Lord God Almighty, your word will work in our lives. Mighty and everlasting Jehovah, we thank you, O oh Lord, for that unction. You have blessed your son with this morning. You have poured that oil on him this morning. That when he speaks your word, O oh Lord, he will not speak heresy. He will not speak from his own, he will not speak his own word. He will speak the word of God. And that there will be action on that word of God, O Lord. Father, we thank you, O Lord. And as we receive the word of God, O Lord, say, Father, increase my faith, O Lord. Increase my faith so that as that word comes, O Lord God Almighty, great and mighty Jehovah, I will accept it. The Bible tells us that when that word came to uh, Abraham, that Abraham staggered not with unbelief. He believed it. Even at an old age, he believed the word of God. And the word of God worked for him. My Bible tells us, O Lord God Almighty, that the word of God, O Lord God Almighty, every word of God is written for our own admonition. And it's written for as an example for us, mighty and everlasting Jehovah. As your word comes forth, O Lord God Almighty, increase our faith, O Lord. Let us accept that word, O Lord. In any area we are hurting, as we, as we accept that word, O Lord, as it appertains to us, mighty Jehovah, let it heal us in the name of Jesus Christ. Let it heal us in the name of Jesus Christ. Let your word bring so 
talk to us, O oh Lord. Let your word, O oh Lord, every challenge, O oh Lord, that you are passing, as your word comes, O oh Lord God Almighty, Father, you give us solution to all those things, all those challenges of life. You give us solution in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Father, we are praying for ourselves because as our faces are different, so are our desires. And Father, as your word comes this morning, O oh Lord, you will meet everyone at the point of his or her needs in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Mighty Father, we thank you. Awesome God, we thank you. Jehovah, we glorify your name because you alone are awesome. You alone are glorious. You alone are Lord in the name of Jesus Christ. You alone are worthy, Lord, worthy, O oh Lord, to be praised and adored. You alone are worthy, Lord. You are worthy, O oh Lord, to be praised and adored. You've been faithful, Lord. Hallelujah. From the ages past. That is why your name is forevermore. Father, we thank you. Father, we adore you. Father, we glorify your name. Father, we give you praise and honor in the name of Jesus. Let us lift our children up before the Almighty this morning. The Lord God Almighty has given us these children. Lord God Almighty, we are lifting them up before the Almighty this morning. And we say, Lord God Almighty, our children, oh Lord, will not populate hell. Our children will not populate hell. Our children will not populate hell. Great and mighty Father, that which we have taught them from the beginning. Because the word of God says, oh Lord, that we should teach our children right from their, their, their youth, oh Lord. Then as they grow, that word which we have taught them will not depart from them. And so, Father, we are praying this morning, oh Lord God Almighty, that you will save our children. You will save our children. Great and mighty Father, you said you will save our children. Great and mighty God, in that book of Isaiah 49, you said you will save our children. Great and mighty Father, we are reading it this morning, the book of Isaiah 49. Great and mighty Father, you say you will save them, almighty Jehovah. Great and mighty God, they will not populate hell in the name of Jesus Christ. They will follow the word of God that we have taught them from childhood. Great and mighty Father. And they will grow in the name of Jesus Christ. And the enemy will not take them away from us. Mighty Father, awesome God. Our children, oh Lord God Almighty, will be delivered from the hands of the enemy. Let us read that Isaiah 49. I am reading 25. To 26. And we're going to pray for our children. In fact, let me start from 24. Isaiah 49. He said, Shall the prey be taken from the mighty, or the lawful captive delivered? That is God asking us now. Let us see how great our God is. God said, But thus said the Lord, Even the captives of the mighty shall be taken away, and the prey of the terrible be delivered. For I will contend with him that contend with thee, and I will save your children. Oh, let us open our mouths and pray, O oh Lord. Bible says that God will save our children. I don't know how many of us, those children have gone astray. I hear of stories, children will walk away from parents, O oh Lord God Almighty, and leave home and change. And say there are no more men or no more women. They change their, their, their natural who they are to something else. Great and mighty Father, that will not be our portion in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Father, is any child being held captive? Is any of our children, oh Lord, are they, are any of them being held captive in sin or one way or the other? God is telling us this morning that he is more than able, oh Lord, to get them out from the hand of the terrible. He's able to deliver them out from the hand of the enemy. Are they prey to the enemy? Has the enemy taken them prey? The Bible said, even the love full captive, even those that have offended, that have been kidnapped by the enemy. Ah, Father says that it's more than able. Let us open our mouth, O oh Lord. Even our relations, even people, Lord, Lord, that we know, O oh Lord, whose children, we don't say, oh, it's not my child. My child is this. The other people are, no, we are praying for all. We are supposed to be our brother's keeper. Mighty Father, where those children, O oh Lord God Almighty, have been taken captive by the enemy, have been become prey to the enemy, the word of God says that our God is more than able to remove them from the camp of the the enemy, oh Lord, to remove them from the captain of the enemy, to remove them from that prison of the enemy, oh Lord, and bring them out. 
mighty Father, great and mighty Jehovah. That is your word this morning said, O Lord, that you will contend with that, O Lord, that contend with thee, and I will save thy children. Father, save our children, O Lord God Almighty. Oh, Father, wherever they are, in the different cities that they are, mighty and everlasting Jehovah, O Lord, that which we have taught them from childhood, O Lord. Let their word not depart from them, O Lord. Great and mighty Jehovah, let them, O Lord, grow up in that word, O Lord God Almighty. Wherever they are, in the different countries that they are, mighty Jehovah. Hey, almighty Father, even those that are with us here, O oh, Father in heaven, O Lord, save them, O Lord. Save them, O great and mighty Father, in the name of Jesus. And verse 26 said, And now we feed them that oppress thee with their own flesh, and they shall be drunken with their own blood as with sweet wine. And all flesh shall know that I, the Lord, I am thy Savior, thy Redeemer, the mighty one of Jacob. Hey, we have a great God, a mighty Father, a fighter. Say, Father, great and mighty Jehovah, let your word work in my life, O Lord. You said, O Lord God Almighty, anyone that is being oppressed, anyone oppressing me, oppressing my children, oppressing my family, in any way, mighty Father, great and mighty Jehovah, is it in their place of work? Is it where they are? Oh, is it in their school that they are being bullied and being oppressed? Great and mighty Jehovah, you will arise, O Lord, and let your word work in our lives. You said, I will feed them that oppress thee with their own flesh and they shall be drunken with their blood as with sweet wine and all flesh shall know that the Lord God is my Savior. Oh Father, great and mighty Jehovah, in my life, oh Lord, people will see me because I will be, oh Lord God, an episode that people will read, oh Lord, and glorify your name. Great and mighty Jehovah, even our children, wherever they are, oh Lord, let them be episodes, oh Lord, that will be read by their maids, oh Lord, episodes of admiration, oh Lord, that people will want to copy, that people will want to behave like, mighty Father, they will not be influenced by by the evil one and oh mighty and everlasting father we want to thank you because you have already delivered them from the hands of the enemy any of them that are being held captive wherever oh lord god almighty thank you jehovah thank you mighty god in the name of jesus christ we have prayed we also want to pray for them. Are there some in school? Are there some in their, in their workplaces? Father, word of knowledge, O oh Lord. Word of understanding. As they read, O oh Lord. Father, give them understanding. Those that are working in their different employments, Father, make them excel. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, they will excel. The Bible says, I will bless the work of your hands. Even us, O oh Lord, that are parents. Whatever work we are doing now to put body and soul together, Father, May we excel in it. In the name of Jesus Christ. We have come to America. We do all manner of jobs we are doing. Whatever God has given us to do, O oh Lord. Father in heaven, O oh Lord. Almighty Jehovah. We will excel in it. In the name of Jesus. We will not be beggars. In the name of Jesus. We shall not beg to eat. In the name of Jesus. Because our God is our provider. Thank you, awesome Father. Thank you, King of glory. In Jesus' mighty name we have prayed. Amen. We want to pray for the church of God. We want to pray for the church of God. We want to say, Lord God Almighty, your church will excel. The bucket of hell shall not prevail against the church of God. Look, if we see what is happening now, oh Lord, hey, I will see some people with tattoo all over, with different, like we are, the people I saw this morning, not just one year ring now, every part of the year is covered. You now wonder what is happening. Body, every part of the body covered with tattoo. The enemy is snatching and taking a lot of people. Oh, say, Father, great and mighty Jehovah. This church, oh Lord God Almighty, Holy One of Israel, great and mighty Jehovah. Let it be a place of succor. A place, oh Lord, that people even pass by, so oh Lord. This deeper life Bible church conquered, Lord God Almighty. As people pass, they will come in, oh Lord God Almighty. Because you make this place a, a place, oh Lord, where prayers are heard. In the name of Jesus Christ. Say, Father, let your light, oh Lord God, shine, oh Lord, in this church. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Father, all the people, oh Lord, that we have preached Jesus to and have given them the address of this place. Mighty and everlasting Father. Bring them, O Lord God Almighty. And as they come, let their prayers be answered in the name of Jesus Christ, O Lord. And we, O Lord, that are here, O Lord, remember when the, 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 the Solomon was dedicating the temple of God. He said that temple, O Lord, will be a place where people pray and God hears. And it happens, O Lord. Mighty and everlasting Father. O Lord God Almighty. As we pray, O Lord God Almighty, in this church, deeper life Bible church, concord. Mighty Father, you will hear 
our prayers in the name of Jesus. You will hear our prayers in the name of Jesus. Your word will work for us in the name of Jesus. Great and mighty Jehovah, you will make this place an end time church, O oh Lord. Where the adulterated word of God will be taught, O oh Lord. Great and mighty Father, great and mighty Jehovah. You are taught, O oh Lord. Shall be your, your church, O oh Lord God Almighty, will be that end time church, O oh Lord. Where your word, O oh Lord, the adultera unadulterated word of God will be preached and will be heard by your children and we will form our lives in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. And Lord God Almighty, as we preach your word, O oh Lord God Almighty, in evangelism, mighty Father, when they come, let them stay in the name of Jesus because the word of God says that our fruit will abide. Mighty Father, let our fruit abide in the name of Jesus Christ. Even the members, O oh Lord, the supposed members, they are also waiting for people to call them here and the mighty Father, please, O oh Lord, let, there be a, let, let the Holy Spirit quicken them, O oh Lord, to realize that this is the end time that we need God, oh Lord. Even people that have not been serious before, mighty Father, help us to be serious this time, oh Lord. Knowing that, oh Lord, this is end time and our Lord can come anytime. Oh, mighty Father, make this church, oh Lord, an end time church, oh Lord God Almighty, where your word, oh Lord, will be preached, oh Lord. And as your word is preached, oh Lord, your word is working in the lives of people. Miracle, oh Lord God Almighty, will be happening in the lives of people. And Lord God Almighty, as your children come, Father, they will abide in the name of Jesus Christ. They will abide. They will stay in the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you, mighty Father. Thank you, great and mighty Jehovah. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. We want to pray for our Jerusalem. We are here in America. Bible say we should pray. And remember the, 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 the country where you are, O oh Lord. Present it to the Almighty. It is when there is peace, when there is peace, where there is peace, then you'll be able to come to church. Say, Father, great and mighty Jehovah, Lord God Almighty, this America that we are, O oh Lord God Almighty, Father, bless them, O oh Lord, in the name of Jesus Christ. Let your word, O oh Lord, never cease, O oh Lord. Father, great and mighty Jehovah, as the election is coming up in November, Almighty Jehovah, O oh Lord, we want peace to reign in this country. We want peace to reign in this country. You have done it before, Lord God Almighty. We everywhere were so heated up, O oh Lord. Suddenly, mighty Father, you chose your own and there was peace all over. Father, you do it again in the name of Jesus. We are not ignorant of the enemy. Always putting fear in the lives of people. But our God will reign. The Bible tells us that our God reigns. He reigns in the affairs of man. Lord God, we will reign in this country, O Jehovah, in the mighty name of Jesus. There will not be war in the mighty name of Jesus. When you hear people say there will be war, as if they have experienced war. Mighty Father, great and mighty Jehovah, we will not experience war. Because we, your children, we are here in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Awesome God, mighty God, great and mighty Jehovah, O oh Lord. Because your children are here, mighty Jehovah, there shall be no war. Oh, Father, the election will be peaceful. The election will be peaceful. And you will choose your child that you want to rule in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Mighty Father, the election will be peaceful in America in the name of Jesus Christ. Lord God Almighty, let there be, let, let peace reign in the mighty name of Jesus. There shall be peace in the land in the name of Jesus. Thank you, awesome Father. In Jesus' mighty name we have prayed. Amen. Let us also remember our different countries. Our different countries, especially the African countries that we came from. We see a lot of evil happening there. I mean, broad daylight, evil happening. Hey, and we say, Father, arise. People being kidnapped. Ethnic cleansing here and there. And we see people ask, Father, where are you? Let us open it, especially Nigeria. And also other countries, oh Lord, mighty Father. You see, each time you hear people going to a particular village, saying they are cleansing, cleaning, killing people, even on Christmas Day. And, and after that Christmas, they have gone again to the same place, killing human beings. These are people. These are human, these are human beings. These are people's fathers, people's mothers. Mighty Father, O oh Lord, we pray, O oh Lord, intervene, O oh Lord God Almighty. Intervene, Mighty Father. In our different countries, O oh Lord, African countries, O oh Lord, great and mighty Jehovah, O oh Lord, a lot of evil is happening there. We see the devil see being seen even in the day. Oh, great and mighty Jehovah, acting with impunity. Mighty Father, great and mighty Jehovah, 
We know that you reign. We know that you reign. The way they display, the Bible says, oh Lord, the wicked man will grow. They will come up, oh Lord, and move with, an, with so much ego. <laughs> but one day, he will disappear and be remembered no more. Father, we take succor in your word. We know that you are a God that does thing when it is time for you to do. Great and mighty Father. We're only saying, Father, remember your children there, oh Lord. I know you will always provide for your children, your children in Nigeria and in the other African countries, oh Lord, that are calling on you. You will always make a way for them where there is no way. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. People calling for, for food here and there. Hunger in the land. And the people that are supposed to, to be the head, they don't even care. They, they just turn, turn blind Blind eyes and deaf ears, as if they are not hearing. But we have a God. Father, you will reign. Father, you will reign. You will arise for us, O oh Lord. In our different countries, O oh Lord. In our different countries, great and mighty Father. You will arise for us, O oh Lord. As we are calling on you, Jehovah, you will hear us, O oh Lord. And you will do, Father. And the whole glory will be unto you. Thank you, awesome Father. Thank you, great and mighty Jehovah. Thank you, mighty and everlasting Father. Thank you for doing more than we ask of you, O Lord. Thank you, Jehovah. In the name of Jesus Christ, we have prayed. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Amen. Let us cover this whole environment with the blood of Jesus and say, Father, come and take control this morning, O Lord. Every activity of today, Jehovah, come and reign in our midst. In the name of Jesus Christ. And remember that we are having a workers' meeting after, after the church service and say, Father, Come and take control, O oh Lord. All that you want us to deliberate about, that we move the church forward. Mighty Father, help us, O oh Lord God Almighty, to bring them forth, O oh Lord God Almighty. Father, great and mighty Jehovah, everything, O oh Lord, we shall be discussing, O oh Lord, in the meeting of today. Mighty Father, take control, take control, take control, take preeminence. Do that which only you alone can do, in the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you, awesome Father. In Jesus' mighty name we have prayed. Amen. Remember also, the women program is coming forth on the, 5th, on the 17th of February. Let us commit that meeting unto the Almighty God. Father in heaven, great and mighty Jehovah, let us commit that meeting, O Lord God Almighty. Telling, teaching us about all, when the, the topic we have been told is the legacy of the children of Zelophaphat, mighty and everlasting Father. Your child that we'll be using on that day, O Lord, and all your children will be using to minister, mighty Father, great and mighty Jehovah. Let them minister, O Lord, your word in the name of Jesus. Teach us new things, O great and mighty Father. Teach us new things, even among the women, in the mighty name of Jesus. Because when we lend them, O Lord, we bring them to our homes, and it will be enjoyed by our husbands and our children. Father in heaven, O Lord, that program, O Lord, will be an eye-opener, O Lord, to a lot of things, O Lord. And it will cause us, O Lord, God Almighty, to draw closer unto you, O Lord. And know the legacies, O Lord, which these women have brought, O Lord, that we're enjoying today. Mighty Father, thank you, O Lord, God Almighty. Thank you, great and mighty Father, because you have already blessed that program, O Lord. It will come forth, O Lord, and it shall be successful in the mighty name of Jesus Christ we have prayed. Amen. Also, the GCK is still on. Oh, we want to pray for the man of God, O Lord, that God has been using, O Lord. Say, Father, continue to use your son, O Lord. That unction you have put on him, O Lord, unction to function for you, O Lord. We see it and we marvel. Oh, Father, let it continue on him in the mighty name of Jesus. Pray for that man of God, O Lord, our GS. Great and mighty Father, we see your hand on him, O Lord, as he mount the pulpit. Father, he's never tired. Help us, O Lord. We want such anointing, even in our lives, in the mighty name of Jesus. We have seen, O Lord, that age is not even a barrier. Because at that age, he stands strong. <laughs> he will preach. In fact, it is the congregation that will be sleeping. He is now, <laughs> he will preach and preach, standing and talking, talking the word of God. Oh, great and mighty Jehovah. Thank you, O Lord. Thank you, mighty Father. For this man of God, O Lord, that you are using in this end time, mighty and everlasting Father, as we see him, O Lord, we see you walk in him. And we pray, Lord, that give us such anointing, even in our own lives, O Lord, that we'll be able to stand and minister you, O Lord, not looking at age, not looking at um, whatever hindrances, O Lord, that the enemy will put in our minds. Mighty Father, you cause us to be strong and able, O Lord, to bring forth your word, O Lord, in the lives of people. Oh, Lord God Almighty, and your word will walk in the lives of men. 
in the name of Jesus. Let us also pray, O Lord God Almighty, that there shall be answers to prayers. O Lord, in this GCK, O Lord God Almighty, there shall be salvation. People will be saved, O Lord. People will be drawn from, the, from, from darkness unto the marvelous light of God, mighty and everlasting Father. There shall be answers to prayers. There shall be miracles, O Lord. Miracles shall abound. And even us, O Lord, that are watching from the Zoom, mighty Father, we shall also receive our own miracles. Mighty Father, Mighty and mighty Father, miracles will abound. Even us, O oh Lord God Almighty, watching from the Zoom, mighty Father, great and mighty Jehovah. Oh, Father, is there anywhere we are lacking? Mighty Father, you will meet us at the point of our own needs. Great and mighty Jehovah, we thank you. We thank you. We adore you. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Amen. What is that that you want to tell God that we have not covered in, in the course of our prayers? This is another opportunity you have. Tell it to our God, because he is here, and he hears, and he will do for you, O Lord, even as you speak. He said that you speak into my ear, so will I hear and do. Father, we want to thank you. Oh, great Lord. Awesome Father. Thank you. Thank you, awesome Father. Thank you for hearing our prayers, mighty Jehovah. Thank you for hearkening and doing for us even more than we ask you. Thank you, awesome Father. Take preeminence today. In the name of Jesus, we have prayed. Amen. We cancel every spirit of destruction this morning, every spirit of buying and selling, every spirit of destruction, every spirit, O oh Lord, of absent-mindedness. As the word of God comes forth, mighty Jehovah, we shall be alert and we shall hear your word, and your word will work in our lives. Thank you, awesome Father. Thank you for doing more than we ask from you, Lord, for we have prayed in Jesus' name. Amen. It shall be permanent. He shall be permanent. What the Lord will do for us. He shall be permanent, permanent. He shall be permanent. He shall be permanent. The blessings of God in our lives. He shall be permanent. Thank you, Father. For we know that every blessing of today, Lord, shall be permanent in our lives in the name of Jesus. People will not ask us, where is our God? Because they will see us and see our God in our lives in the name of Jesus Christ. And we will not look and say, Father, where are you? Because we know that you are always with us and that you will even do more than we ask from you. Because the Bible tells us that our God is able to do more and even greater things that we ask or even think because of the power that works in us. Thank you, mighty Jehovah, for we pray in Jesus' name. Amen.